It is 8 a.m. in Chiapas, and today we are starting a coffee business. But let's back up a little bit. For the last few years, we have had the secret dream of creating a coffee company. It was actually at a winery of all places that this idea was born. As we're walking through a vineyard, talking to the owner, learning about wine, it just clicked. Why is it that we know everything about the wine that we drink, maybe once or twice a month, but we know next to nothing about the coffee that we drink every single day? Thus, the idea for Con Todo Coffee was born. Our first trip to a coffee farm a few months ago just solidified that we really wanted to go for it. About to leave Finca Hamburgo. Here was born <laughs> Con Todo Coffee. Con, co coffee Con Todo. Cafe Con Todo. Con, we don't con have... Todo Coffee Co. <laughs> So that brings us back to why we're standing outside uh, a random Sam's in San Cristobal de las Casas. We are a coffee company that doesn't have coffee yet, but that today we are hoping to solve that problem. We are taking the five hour journey from here in San Cristobal to the area of Haltenango de la Paz, yep. Chiapas, which is, I believe is about five hours away yep. in hopes of finding a farm to partner with, but more importantly, to meet the people that go into each cup of coffee that we hope you will be enjoying soon. All right, buenos dias, good morning. Yeah. It is just after 2 p.m. and we finally made it. So, how on earth did we end up here at Finca Las Chicharras? After months of contacting, Facebook messaging, and WhatsApping every coffee farm in Chiapas, we ultimately chose Finca Las Chicharras for two reasons. Number one, the ability to work directly with the farm so that there are really no middlemen. There's increased transparency throughout this entire process from the time the beans are actually picked to the time you pour your morning cup of coffee. And number two, the farm's strong commitment to improving the lives of the families that live and work here at the farm. Almost as soon as we arrived, we took off through the finca to see some of the coffee plants and to meet some of the people that hand pick these beans. It's really one of our main goals with, with this project and, and, and physically visiting the farm is, is really less about getting to know the process of how the coffee is made and, and more about the getting to know the people that are behind making the coffee. And that explains why I'm walking through this coffee field. I think uh, there's some pickers up here that uh, Yadira and our guide are going to take us to and we can see how they're working. I'm hoping, I'm hoping they'll put us to work too and uh, hopefully we can get to know a few people that uh, go, into ma go into making delicious coffee. Not long after walking into the coffee fields, we met one of the smiliest, the happiest people, Macario. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? Marcario. Marcario. Mucho gusto, Marcario. ¿Cuántos kilos puedes este, cosechar en un día? Como... 50 kilos, 80 kilos. Wow, eres fuerte. Un poquito. Ah, ¿Cuántos años tiene? Tengo 60. 60. Sí. Tiene hijos y nietos también. Wow. Macario, where did you learn English? ¿Dónde aprendiste inglés? Uh, Georgia. Georgia. Mi papá, wow. mi papá es de Georgia. Sí, wow. 
Hey, bueno. It was truly humbling to watch Macario work and to witness firsthand just how hard he works. Next, we met Doña Pancha. Francisca Jimenez Perez. Mucho gusto. Wow. Si sí, algo me dicen Doña Pancha. Doña Pancha. Sí. Doña Pancha, ¿por sí. qué? Son las tres. Francisca Jimenez Perez y una que se llama Pancha, igual. Una ah. chica también. We were lucky enough to catch up with Macario through various aspects of his workday. From collecting the coffee beans by hand, we headed on to lunchtime. Macario, what do you have to eat? ¿Qué vas a comer? Puerco. Puerco? Yeah. ¿Qué más? Frijoles? Frijol. ¿Y Arroz. qué es? Arroz. <laughs> ah, <laughs> qué rico. ¿Y eso es qué? Ah, un café. Ah, claro que sí. You like? Of course. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Provechito. Even after seeing the process of coffee several times, it is still hard to believe how much work, how much hard work, how much labor goes in to the making of you being able to drink a cappuccino or whatever it is you're drinking every morning. Wow. And ultimately, we were able to see at the very end of Macario's workday, whenever the beans that he had picked all day were measured and collected to move on to the next step of the process. ¿Cuáles son tuyos? Esa. Esas tres. Esa. Son tuyos. ¿Cuántos este, octavos piensas que son? Como 10, 10 octavos. Wow. Eso es normal en un día, como 10. ¿Sí? ¿Cuántos? 10. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo sabías? <laughs> Experiencia. <laughs> what a crazy, exciting day. So much has happened in the last several hours. I feel like we are one step closer, which is super exciting. Yep. But now it's time for quesadillas, so we'll see you guys in the morning. Day two, behind the scenes of... Uh, Two gringos trying to start a coffee business the hard way. Our room Day is six for these jeans. <laughs> <laughs> Our room is an absolute mess, but you know what? It's not too bad because it's got air conditioner and a beautiful view of Haltenango de la Paz. Okay, this not, the view's not really that good, <laughs> but uh, today we are going back to the farm to hopefully yep. get to know uh, more workers to visit with more. Uh, workers and to visit the school project that uh, eCafe has built for the kids of the workers so that the kids can uh, go to school and get some education going while the family is working. Okay, you fix your hair before we go. <laughs> I gotta fix my hair. We gotta eat. We're actually in, we're actually about 45 minutes away yes. from the farm still. So although we're close in Haltenango de la Paz, it's, but we're not that close. Not that close. I'm heading through Holton 
all go heading to the farm for day two. It's so interesting to see all the coffee buyers in town. There are big ones, there are small ones. So basically, all those small, single family farmers have the beans, pick the beans, wash the beans, take the skin off, prepare them, dry them, and then bring those to these people here in town who then buy the beans from them, pay them based on weight or volume, and then uh, from there, they're sold to bigger companies. But it's really interesting to see Haltenango is definitely the place for coffee buyers. So what e -cafe, what makes eCafe different from the people in town is that these are single origin direct trade. So the beans that come from this farm all, all, are all grown and treated the same from a single origin. The beans in town are all mixed together from different altitudes. Different um, places, different farms, different, farms, different, different methods different. maybe. Methods, some are more humid, some haven't been dried as much, and those are all mixed together. Um, they're also roasted together, which we've learned is actually really hard. It's like baking cookies on the top of the oven and the bottom of the oven. They don't bake evenly. It's the same with beans. Some are bigger, some are more humid, some are more dry, and they don't all roast evenly, so that's why um, it's better to, to not get a mixed, a mixed blend. So we're going, um, we're here for the purity. to the farm and Tomasa was waiting for us. Hola Tomasa. Hola Tomasa. You are just one really, really interesting looking dog. Yeah, you need some dental work. You need some dental work. Huh. My, uh, my hat I bought in San Cristobal is, gonna, is definitely gonna come in handy today. It's pretty sunny and quite a bit more, uh, quite a bit more warm and human that it was when we got here later in the afternoon yesterday. Really the whole ride over here from Hatanango de La Paz, I was just in complete disbelief that we were here for, really for a lot of reasons. Uh, yeah, obviously when we moved to Mexico, we had no idea that we would ever be starting a coffee business. But really just venturing out into the countryside of Mexico, the, the countryside of Chiapas. Really just being able to see this part of Mexico, the, the actual finca and the towns on the way has been been a treat in and of itself. But I, uh, I definitely feel confident that we have found our coffee partner. Day two, we quickly picked up right where we left off and got to know people like Victor, one of the managers of the farm. And we also got to meet Santiago, who even put Greg to work. That's a lot of work. It's much of trabajo. Yes, yes, yes. A ver. Mucho caliente. Sí, hace calor. ¿Cómo te llamas otra vez, perdón? Santiago Sales Domingo. Santiago Sales Domingo. ¿Por cuántos años has trabajado en, en café? Uh, bueno, pues aquí nomás es el primer año aquí. Ah, ok. Han trabajado mucho tiempo, pero es otra finca. Ah, ok. Sí, otra finca he trabajado de este trabajo. Bueno, ¿por cuántos años has trabajado en fincas en general con, uh, con café? Ah, uh, bueno, ya de, de empecé de mi año, de, de 18 años empecé a trabajar de, de patiero. Ah. Pero en otras fincas aquí en México. Pues, ah. uh -huh. ¿Y cuántos años tiene ahora? Ahorita tengo 60. 60. Uh -huh. Como 50 años trabajando uh -huh. con café. Parece. Por eso. Uh -huh. Wow, son muchos años trabajando, ¿no? Así, ah, güey. Ya eres experto. Ya un poquito. <risa> <risa> bueno, voy, en, voy a hacer una más. Un... <risa> such a pleasure to get to know people like Santiago. He works incredibly hard from six in the morning until I think he said, I think he told me two in the afternoon, pushing this coffee, stirring the coffee, mixing the coffee. Uh, he'll do this area and another area down below. That takes about 20 minutes. And then basically he has to restart 
and he will do that all day. And Amigos, it is hot outside. This doesn't happen often, but our camera actually uh, overheated and we had to turn it off, put in the shade for a few minutes because it is so hot. So uh, I got pretty tired and sweaty just doing one or two lines. I don't know how, I don't know how people like Santiago can, can do that so effortlessly and more importantly with such a big smile on their face. Now we're heading to the school area that eCafe has built, uh, which is a very important project because the school serves a purpose of, of having a teacher here for the kids of the families that are here working so that, uh, so that they're not out in the fields working. And, and more importantly, just so they're getting an education. And that's, that's part of, it's, it's a no cost, it's free. And that's hopefully something we can help, uh, hopefully something we can eventually help with is, is continuing to build the school, providing resources for the teacher, providing a salary for the teacher, building on to more of the playground, maybe building like a little soccer area or area for the kids to play, some shade. The, uh, the kids have roped me into playing pin the tail on the donkey, so it should be embarrassing. Derecha, derecha, derecha. Izquierda. Izquierda. Izquierda, izquierda. Izquierda, a izquierda. Atrás. One, two, three! <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> bye bye. Nos vemos. Bye bye, amigo. Bye. Yeah, bye. Bye. Bye, amigos. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wow, that was so much fun. I think we probably had more fun than the kids uh, even did. And uh, amigos, I think I could not be more proud to be partnering with an organization. Hopefully, we haven't quite bought the coffee yet, but <laughs> hopefully we're uh, partnering with an organization that is doing this type, this, such an ambitious project here, building the school, funding the school. Uh, and, and we don't have the exact details of how we are going to get involved in this as well, but uh, trust us in that we are going to get involved and uh, hopefully along the way and through uh, soon finishing creating this coffee company, we'll find out exactly uh, how we and, and yourselves can support uh, this school and more importantly, these kids. Before we knew it, we were off on a nice hike through the jungle. All right, we're following Miguel deep into the, uh, the actual coffee farmer or to the actual area where the coffee is being grown. I think Miguel is uh, might be part Tarumara because he is flying through this trail. Well, we are struggling to keep up. Miguel, no eres Tarumara? No. Si. <laughs> That's okay. As long as this thing is strong enough.
Okay. Oh. That's serious. That's a giant hole. Like. Miguel's all the way up there. <laughs> now it's one thing to simply walk through here and, and try and keep up with Miguel. It is another to get out here at 5.30 in the morning when it's still dark with the headlamp on, coming out to work, and ultimately uh, having to go take everything you picked for the day back to the road on this trail. I'm struggling carrying the camera. I don't know how they do it. I do not know how they do it. That was so hard. That was so hard. I don't know how. I would think that was impossible. All right, here we have a bag of uh, picked coffee cherries. And uh, after we got here, Miguel, we heard a car drive by and Miguel told us, oh, there's a road right there. We could have just done that. He just wanted to take us through the scenic route. But even, I would say it's probably 20 meters. And I know they have like a contraption to put this on your head. I don't know, I would, consider myself a, a fairly strong person, but I don't know if I could even move this. Wow. No, no, you can't, you can't pick it up like that. I think you'd have to have, I don't know. You'd have to have superhuman coffee picker strength to even get this off the ground. Incredible. Es Doña Pancha. Es Doña Pancha, como estas? Bien. Muy bien, gracias. Ooh, hace calor, no? <laughs> we even learned from our friend Marco a thing or two about how to actually collect the coffee beans. Me puedes enseñar cómo colectar? Ajá. Sí. Oh. <laughs> Así es. Así. A ver, todas. Más rápido, por favor. Ah. <laughs> Overall, it was so incredible to not only visit the farm and to see the process of making coffee, but really to meet and to get to know people like Marco, Doña Pancha, Miguel, Victor, Yadira, and of course, all the kids. No, 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 no. <laughs> now, he had two goals before visiting this farm. The first was to make sure the farm <laughs> even existed and more importantly, lived up to our standards. It's one thing to message people on WhatsApp to see pictures online, but we really wanted to see firsthand where our coffee would be coming from to make sure, again, that it lived up to everything we were hoping for. And the second and most important thing that we wanted out of this trip is to meet the farmers, to meet the people that go into every single yep. cup of coffee. And my friends, after this trip, we are confident that we are one step closer into bringing 100% Mexican coffee straight to your door. Amigos, click the link below to be the first to get your hands on some of this delicious coffee. We are accepting pre-orders now. Click the link below. Adios. Until next time, amigos. Have less, do more.